where did he leave us uh, as a Muslim Ummah and how can we continue where he left off? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As, as a Muslim Ummah, as a Muslim community, you know, Malcolm left us you know, with a tremendous responsibility to truly live up to the values that Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, God bless him and grant him peace, embodied. Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, uh, God bless his soul, he didn't you know, come to Arabia and leave things uh, the way they were. Right? He saw economic injustice. He said something about it and he did something about it you know, with his own personal example. He saw female infanticide. He didn't just keep quiet and look the other way. He did something about it, right? Uh, you know, he saw the uh, enslavement of unjust enslavement of free people. He saw a caste system built on slavery. He did something about it. Uh, he saw idolatry and the imprisonment of human beings in worshiping uh, creatures like themselves who couldn't who can't help or harm them he did something about it and I think Malcolm you know Malcolm one of the books that uh, he uh, used to have with him all the time was an introductory book to Islam given to him by Sheikh Dawood Faisal Sheikh Dawood Faisal is someone a lot of American Muslims don't know about but he was an African-American Muslim uh, of partly Jamaican heritage and uh, you know he was extremely well studied and uh, you know he was based in New York and even when, while Malcolm was a minister in the nation uh, Malcolm used to, he used to meet with Malcolm and talk to him and he observed his growth uh, but Malcolm had this book that Sheikh Dawood had given him uh, and, and Malcolm kept it with him all the time so Malcolm you know left us with this legacy of of social justice, uh, you know, really being relevant to the the uh, needs of the community in which we're in, very being sensitive to the needs of the weak, of the poor, of the oppressed. He left us uh, with his with a challenge to be voracious readers, to be educated about not uh, not, not just about Islam and the Qur'an, and Arabic, and the sciences, the classical sciences of hadith, and theology, and jurisprudence, and legal philosophy, but, you know, with a challenge to educate ourselves about the world that we live in, and to understand cultures, you know, uh, cultures that we're not familiar with, so, because they allow us to understand perspectives, looking at truth, from different vantage points, looking at problems from different vantage points. Malcolm left us uh, with a, a responsibility to engage our community locally, to engage our state community, to engage our national community and, and contribute to the most relevant national discussions that are going on in our time. You know, Malcolm left us with a huge international responsibility. As I mentioned in, another, in our last episode, you know, he was really involved in uh, trying to push uh, the agenda of African Americans and their plight in the United Nations. So, you know, we, we have a lot to live up to. We have a lot to live up to. You know, Malcolm left us with this huge uh, vision of inclusiveness that you can work with everybody. And he was willing at the end of his life, you know, after his Hajj, his pilgrimage to Mecca, he was willing to work with people who, you know, 10, 20 years ago, he was highly critical of, you know, people he castigated. He was willing to work with them and reach across the aisle. And I think, that, you know, you see a lot of sectarianism, uh, you know, intra-Muslim uh, conflict. And Malcolm shows us that it's possible to transcend all of that, you know, to look beyond whatever our theological or jurisprudential or ideological differences may be and work together on issues uh, that, you know, are you know, common challenges and to pursue common goals. Uh, Malcolm left us with the responsibility, you know, speaking to the men here, to be true men, 
you know, to defend our families, you know, to uh, not take uh, economic security or physical security lightly, uh, that there should, you know, be um, men, you know, among our ranks, you know, who step up to the plate, you know, uh, intellectually, physically, and morally. You know, he was a very moral man. He was extremely disciplined. He ate one meal a day. You know, he was always reading. He did his prayers, right? Uh, you know, uh, he was a martial artist. You know, he was all these things. And his personal example uh, and his, his activism, his eloquence, his use of language, uh, all of these are part of our inheritance. And what's so fascinating about him is that, um, you know, this was just one man and he died you know, he, well, he was martyred. Martyrs aren't dead, as Allah says in the Quran. You know, don't consider those who are slain in the way of God to be dead. And he was martyred and given everlasting life at a very young age. But, you know, what he accomplished in the few years that he was on the earth, we have many lifetimes of work to do. As I was saying uh, the other night, uh, there's a poem in Arabic, you know, that goes, Laysa ala Allahi bi mustankirin an yaj'al alam fi wahidin. It's not a big deal for God if he chose to put the whole universe into one person. And, you know, there's a few people like that throughout history you can point to, and, and Malcolm is certainly one of them. So hopefully, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to our conversation uh, you know, about Malcolm and, and how he relates to Muslim American identity. Jazakumullah right, khairan. May Allah reward you for taking the time to listen uh, to these video conversations and these webisodes. You know, may Allah Ta'ala bless you for your time. And I, I hope, you know, I'm not here to tell anybody what to believe. Um, I really just want to give you something to think about and hopefully uh, it will help you come up with answers, the answers that you need, you know, to live uh, a more fulfilling life and answer a lot of the, the issues of our time and that we're raised in these conversations. So thank you so much and may Allah bless you all. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace be upon you and Allah's mercy and His blessings.